Hello and welcome to Southern Rubber Outdoors. I'm your host, Jay. Today, I'm actually out fishing a little early. It's March 4th. And I'm out at, out at a somewhat local reservoir fishing and the rod I've got in my hand is a favorite army seven foot medium heavy action I'd say the tip's probably about a fast action or it's a medium heavy power fast about a fast action i don't know why they always put uh, this ain't the only brand but if you look right there On that it says medium heavy and action I don't know why they do that because it is not an a medium heavy action it's a either fast I mean a a moderate a me, uh, moderate fast fast extra fast action rod it's not a freaking medium heavy action I'm running a seven three to one gear ratio. Running Texas rig. I've had a few bites, but I've just not. I've missed a couple. It's just, I mean, water camp here in southeastern Illinois. Still a little on the cold side. And it's been crazy. I'm out in the kayak, so don't be surprised if you don't see me moving. So, but I'm running a Texas rig. Uh, one fourth ounce Titan tungsten. I got a bead to it. I always use a bead to protect my knots. Uh, they're three or four aught laser sharp trocar uh, EWG hook with a uh, June bug red uh, six cents hog walla. I usually dominate bass. on the old uh, hog walla in the June, June bug red color. I'm gonna be up and trying to move here in just a moment. Cause I'm not finding nothing in this area where I'm at, so I'm gonna have to make a move and find something else. I mean, it's kind of pretty windy, but it's supposed to be about 80 degrees out today or close to it. But I'm gonna see what I can do. Only downside I hate about this favorite rod is this dang thing does not have a hook holder. Period. No, nowhere on this thing. I hate using a reel and I hate using my my guides on these. Oh, and I'm sure y'all have seen that and you're gonna ask, but that says 12 pound fluoro. Then, uh, 
Texas rig. I couldn't remember what I put on it. But that's what I got on it, and this is my Texas rig rod. I'm gonna show you my swim bait, somewhat swim bait setup. That's a seven on uh, Magnum Trocar swim bait hook, six inch sweep and uh, Blue Gila, Ibu Garcia Black Max six four to one. Uh, loose Xfinity Pro signature series from I don't know who I don't know that person it's a 7 4 power heavy action extra fast lure rate half ounce to two ounce And this it's a 74 rod it's a real nice rod I also have a loose laser lesser whatever TXS from Academy 610. Medium heavy, fast action. There's the name. It's got a, a H2O Express bluegill little swim bait. It's got a laser TSX reel. I absolutely love it. Seven five to one. Uh, and on this one, I have it marked down as 14 pound fluoro. I use a lot of floral. I do not use mono. I do not use straight braid. The only time I use straight braid is either flipping or uh, flipping a pitching or top of water. Otherwise, I'm using fluorocarbon because everything else is all underwater and there's no point in me using braid. I don't need something that's going to. Uh, going to float or have trouble sinking so i've upgraded to everything and right now i'm undoing my uh my anchor because i always anchor them in the position so that way i'm not floating all over nothing aggravates me more when i'm trying to fish a good spot and i'm and like in three minutes i'm already five miles down the dang thing bear with me because the water's still cold so <sighs> don't know where i want to fish next but i'm gonna go across the reservoir not a very big reservoir. I'd say it's probably 18 or probably about a 20 to 25, maybe, maybe at max 30 acre reservoir. And I don't think I can switch the camera without stopping the video. And I don't feel like stopping and trying to figure out how to edit this thing. And currently, right now, I'm using my center rod holder to uh, film with. I don't know if that's somebody coming or what they're doing. It sounds like somebody else is coming. It's all right, it's public water anyway. I would give out the location, but I don't want people coming up here causing a bunch of ruckus. 
because it's already bad enough. We got enough idiots that like to trash the place, and nothing ticks me off more than that. I don't see no bass bedding yet, so it still must be a little early for them. Not going too fast. I also have two other rods I'll show you in here. I'm just glad I'm filming on my iPhone. I don't have to worry about it getting wet and ruining the phone because it's waterproof. Straight from the factory. I don't have to worry about a dang thing. This water is all kinds of crazy. And this is the furthest back I've been on this reservoir in a good long while. <sighs> All right, I'm pulling out the old stops on this one. Ten inch zoom mag worm. Gooseberry color, Texas rig style, on a mock worm rod, as they call it. Uh, Lose Xfinity, 75 to 1 on a mock rod, mock series rod. 7 foot, medium heavy, fast tapper action, taper, tapper, whatever. 14 pound floral on that, and then it's upside down. I haven't fished with this rod in a good bit. Oh, giving you guys a heads up, it is a little windy. See if I can't find me a good old fish somewhere. I just bombed that baby. Need to clean that up a little bit. I'm just slowly dragging it over the bottom because I know that fish might still come. I'm pretty sure I've got a bunch of freaking weeds on the bottom of my freaking line. I always try to give it one good jerk to try to get it off, but I 
I'm glad I got an anchor. It's going to be fun getting back across the lake now, though. what I like about this. Slowly just dragging it along the bottom. I don't see how I ain't finding any fish at all. See if I can throw it out there deep. I guess whatever it was, it's gone off my reel now. So I ain't seen it anymore. How in the heck does that crap keep me in my dang reel? thing home and and align it. Got some geese geese out here. Oh, dang it. Flap it.
on that sucker way out there. About 50, 60 yards. I'm trying to see if I can find some fish. Even out in the deep. I mean, it's not super deep here, but still. Open some big old freaking smack it. I'm hoping to try to break my personal best this year at nine and a half pounds. Seems like I'm gonna have to try to go back to this one and see if I can't find something on this one. Just seems like I find more on this than I do any other bait. Even in the old June bug color. Flipping difficult. And the fluorocarbon that I use is Berkeley Vanish. And I've watched and watched a guy do a bunch of tests with a bunch of fluorocarbon between this Vanish and Strike King fluorocarbon. The Strike King, Strike King Contour. 
uh, fluorocarbon. Has this is the only true fluorocarbon that has very little stretch. This one I think has 14 or 15 percent stretch overall per inch or whatever versus uh, I think 10 to 12 percent on the Strike King Contour and everybody else's was in the 20 and 30 percent out of all the ones that he's tested. I'm gonna just kind of keep filming a little bit. Ooh, what the hell? Really? Forgot about that stupid thing. Gosh dang it. Well, I had him. I'm trying to fix my seat, and I had him. See if I can't find me another one.
heck, I've even let this set for about 30, 40 seconds at a time after or more. After casting and I'm just out of nowhere, they'll just pick it up. See if I can bounce it a little bit and see if I give it a little bit of action. Maybe entice them to pick it up. Oh, and I am filming in 4K, Ultra HD. See if I can adjust this a little bit.
Come on. Mm. Every freaking time. Stupid dang thing. I'm trying to keep my butt on the doodad here. Nothing annoys me more than this stupid thing. It always wants to take me to my right, never to my left, where I want to be. I'm gonna get a hold of him. Daddy Clabbit.
I wish you would shut up, stupid phone. Alright, I gotta move it over because I'm too far in.